Why does this building look better than this one? It's because proportions matter. Design using the smart scale ruler with the divide ratio function. First, figure out what you're going to do. I'm about to create an elevation of a house exterior and I'm making it 15 centimeters wide on the page. So I have to type in that reference dimension. Then it asks me for the amount of divisions. I say eight and select ratio. Then what ratio I want the divisions to be at. I say 1.6 just to get close to the golden ratio. Now it's created eight segments that are all 1.6 greater or smaller than one another, which ultimately means that all the measurements look good together. So you can use this as a guide for all of the proportions of a design. If you stick to these segments, then you stand a very good chance of creating an aesthetically pleasing design. Here I'm setting up a bunch of markers for heights and widths of doors, windows, lintels, etc. Once I have them in place, I can start filling them in. This is of course not a foolproof method, you still need to use your own design sense, but you can see that I'm toying between slightly bigger and smaller proportions given the parameters. However, having a set of eight fixed dimensions that you know are, proportion that you know are at proportions that look nice when assembled is very helpful and serves as a really great guide if you're stuck or contemplating what sizes certain elements of your building should be. I would even recommend that if you already have a design but feel like it's not quite right that you print it out and apply a ratio to it and move those measurements around all major elements and even the smaller ones of your design and see what can be tweaked here and there. You might find that all your design needs is a little tightening up of proportions. The height and width of your windows relative to the doors, frame sizes and spaces is so critical to getting a design feeling balanced. So many classic buildings apply these principles during the design phase and you can just imagine how much easier it would have been with a tool like this. I'm creating something quite resolved looking here, however if you're doing the massing for your building and in the concept planning stage this is an even more critical time to getting the design right. I chose 1.6 as my ratio here because it's considered to be dressed a uh, classically beautiful one and it's present throughout nature. However, I personally prefer ones such as 1.2 or 1.3, but it all depends on what you're designing. If you have a large building that you're looking to bring to three segments, then use the ruler and try out three different ratios and see which ones you like best. Another thing that this divide ratio function works well for is sometimes with hand drafting, you need to create the illusion of a curve, which is often done by creating lines that get tighter and tighter together. And you can do it by eye, but if you're aiming for perfection, then this is a great way to do that. Um, the tighter the curve, the larger the ratio, and vice versa.